Hey, what is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be having an install video on the uh, grill on a 10th Gen Civic. It's a Plaster like 2016 to 2020. This is the EST model I have, but this should be the same for all models there. And basically I was trying to get rid of the chrome grill. And I ordered one off of Amazon. I'll be linking that down in the description. But pretty much it comes with this grill here. The top of it's gloss black and the bottom of it's... I mean, that's glossy. It probably needs some wet standing. I'll just see how it looks on the car. Put it here. And then you have these two black strips that also come with it. Pretty much this here should be a pretty straightforward install. The only problem I see so far is just the bumper supposed to come off of here because if you look down in here, you can't really get to these boats and everything that you need to get to because this... Uh, the bumper brass down here is blocking some of the boats. So that's why you got to take the bumper off. So unfortunately, there's no way around that. But it's a pretty straightforward job. All you're going to need is some uh, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a four-way. And you're just going to need a 10 millimeter and some pliers and like a tub to put like these plastic clips in here. And I'll be showing you some of what you need to take off here. The first two things would be... You have these two four-way screws right here, fill-up screws, two on each side. And you have these clips here for this first one. I've already started removing some of these here, but it's pretty straightforward. You can use a flat blade screwdriver. Just pull it up like this. And just put the clip in there and you just go on down the line here. Very straightforward on these here. Plastic tool works better because you can damage these clips. But this is a new car, so it ain't gonna be as bad. Basically, you get all these clips out right here, and that'll pull off, and you gotta come over here to these clips here. They work the same, however, these will be a little bit more tricky. So just be careful trying not to break these here. And the same process over here. You wanna pull this off here, you'll have this rubber skid thing here. And you should be actually be able to sneak in behind this here, like I'm showing you here. And you can you have to play, mess with it there a little bit, forget what I'm saying. But after you get the top part here, the other clips you're going to need to address here is you have a clip here. Just basically any word clip that connects into the bumper here, you just want to pull out. Whatever connects to the uh, boy bumper. These here can stay. It's just these outer side clips attached to this skid plate, let's say. And you're gonna have a 10 millimeter boat right here you gotta take out. It based around boats, this little mud flap from the bumper while I'm gonna slide off. And you can see here my fog lights bust it. That's common on these cars. I had a pothole and both of them cracked. And if you come over to the other side, guys, same process here. I'm missing a clip here, but you can see what I'm talking about here. Just take this 10 millimeter off, this 10 millimeter off right here, and this nut boat will come out. And I'll be showing you in just a second when I get all this unboated here, but you get to pull, and it's pretty straightforward to do this part of it. But just follow along here and pay attention, because if you break these clips on this bumper, you'll have to get new ones, because that's not gonna fit exactly right. The, uh, just keep track of where this goes. These here go in the corner, they're extra short. These long ones here, they come in the middle. But so far my progress is pretty much, I just gotta pull that off and just gotta get these clips off here. And I've noticed if you don't have the right tool for these little clips right here, guys, you just wanna use like a wider flat blade screwdriver and stuff. And I'd also recommend putting some tape around the screwdriver, maybe a rag, just so you won't ding up a paint or something, because you will get chips, you don't watch it there. And take some pictures of how this goes together before you take it apart, just to help with re-insulation and making it look faster again. Okay guys, once you get this piece of plastic off right here, it covers the condenser and radiator and this rubber strip, you'll end up like this here. What you want to do now is these little chrome strips, the top piece, you can see they're kind of loose here. You want to come in these hose right here and try to be careful again you don't want to break this because you can sell these grills online and you want to just dig around in here for screwdriver you should hear a pop or a click and if you do it right this is hard to do with one hand but the uh clip will come off of here and there's one on the other side and the piece of trim will pop off of here 
again you're gonna have to dig around in here but you'll head it in here and you should end up being loose you'd want to just pull around and tug i notice you pull pull against here a little bit of white pressure and use a screwdriver now don't go crazy because these little clips right here if you break those you're gonna have to run down to the power store and get new ones because your grill will not sit on here right it's gonna flop around and make noise this is not gonna look look right or fit right but all right you got your grill's gonna be loose like that now all you're going to you want to do from here is you want to just go ahead and sneak in your wheel wheel here and you're going to want to start taking off these screws right here I recommend turning the steering wheel the other direction if you don't have a short screwdriver to do this with like right over here i have plenty of clearance to sneak a long one in there generally speaking you can get more leverage for the longer screwdriver but just take your screws out here <coughs> And how to be careful here, don't lose these because these here will be extremely hard to find. And okay, once you get these screws out on both sides, right here and right here, you should have four screws. They look like this here, and that's good. Now what you wanna do is you wanna grab your flat blade screwdrivers again, and you're gonna wanna crawl up under the car this time, and grab your 10 millimeter, and you're gonna wanna start taking out these clips down here. Go ahead and grab your tub, pan, or anything you can keep your clips and stuff in. And like an old, like a uh, 12 pack box, stuff like that'll work perfect. You can cut the wood off of it, and it's the perfect storage. But all right, the uh, ones you're going to be taking out here, pretty straightforward. This part here stays on the bumper, but you're going to need to take this 10 millimeter out over here. So just take that 10 millimeter out, make sure to save that boat again. And you're gonna wanna grab a five millimeter Allen wrench or a flat blade screwdriver. And you should have a boat right here. Mine's missing from me losing a skid plate over a stick in the road. You could just skid plates are garbage, but uh, well, actually I don't have the silver Allen boats in here. They're both gone. But you'd find one right here and one on the other side. You can use a flat blade screwdriver like this to get them out. A torch bed with a five millimeter Allen wrench. I mean, there's nothing holding them. Worst case, you could sneak a pair of channel locks in there and get them out real easy. Okay, I got all these clips out. I took out that 10 millimeter boat over here and one on the other side. I took out this clip right here. This clip in the middle here actually ended up breaking on me. It's and i had it and if you have a quick break it sucks i'd use pliers and screwdrivers and stuff i eventually managed to get it out but what you should end up with is something like this here this plastic piece here the black one will be just attached to the bumper the bumper should have a lot of movement here pretty much all the way around here made them like it's free the bumper is now free to come off of the car when now be careful because the side marker lens is here. And when you're doing it, I recommend using a uh, piece of foam or something you don't damage the paint. Just play around with this here and you'll get the clips off. But okay, I was able to get it off the pasture side. I had to pull down on it and I put a lot of pressure on it there. I was able to get it off. You kind of want to pull down and pull towards you. That should keep from breaking the clip. And also, I wouldn't really recommend using a screwdriver if you can because you'll get these little dents and tear, but that's no big deal. I can just push that back in here in a little bit when I get done. <laughs> no big deal here, but I'll try to show you here. Basically, I kind of pulled it against me here and I pulled down. And I ended up pulling it out like that. Just make sure you're putting a steady downward pressure when you're doing it. And you will uncover these clips right in here. My finger's pointing out. That's what you're trying to uncover here. And you just want to just go around the rest of the car. Do the same thing. Do you want to pull down and push? Pull down on it. And you just have to just go around the whole front of the car. The grill is part of a bumper too. So it's going to come off with it. Just work around. You'll find all the clips here. No big deal. We here as these clips right here you can see down in here 
kind of see my screwdriver's as this little black clip, but if you take the screwdriver and you pry up a little bit, it's perfectly safe right here because this part is going to be covered with a bumper and you won't see if you do happen to damage the paint. But pretty much what that does is it unclips it. And I'll show you these plastic clips here, guys. My finger's out. So pretty much what it is, the way these work, is kind of push down the bumper. So if you take a screwdriver, you can do like this. And you just prowse them up. And your bumper should be pretty much ready to come off here. You got to unhook your fog lights. And also, you might end up having a little bit of trouble up here where the uh, grill part gets stuck back on. And I recommend putting something under the... Uh, bumper here to hold it on to keep it from completely falling off the car so you won't scratch it up but you want to sneak in back here on your fog lock connectors and you want to go ahead and unhook them you may have to lift the bumper back up against the car to sneak your hand in there but basically uh i can't show you all right i got something under the bumper but uh fog lock connector is pretty straightforward you just push this little tab in here and you pull down it's good to go and now you want to check around but your bumper should be ready to go off now i have mine sitting on this foam here be careful with this sensor right here so the front impact sensor trying not to hit it or anything because i have heard about somebody bumping into these we're just anything like that. These sensors are expensive, but this is basically your airbag. You can set the airbag off or anything like that. You never know. So make sure not to hit that if you can and avoid it. It's because you definitely don't want to have an SRS system problem on a new car. Guys, front bumper is officially off here. I have it laying on this piece of foam that came with my grill. So you can use it to lay on or work in the guard. I'd put the car on ramps, give some more assets just to be needed here. But it's pretty much ready to go now. And I'd recommend you guys come here and cleaning up any dirt, debris, finding old tools and stuff. Just clean it up under here to make it look good. Give it a vibe of dirt because you won't be able to get to it again for a while. But okay, the uh, it might be a little bit windy, so sorry about that. But all right, you want to go ahead and start taking off the grill here. The first things you're going to need to take off is this piece right here and they it's these uh screws right here these uh silver screws these down here are the ones you cannot get to of the bumper on the car because this is actually called a bumper cover the painted part but this here is the actual bumper it's aluminum thing you wasn't able to ask with these screws right here is the reason why you got to take the bumper off get the grill off but it only took me about 20 minutes to get this down here and that's what it's that clip so don't worry about taking too long on it you won't spend forever on it but i'm gonna go ahead and start taking these screws off here it's to work faster if you have a uh a drill which i do but i'm too lazy to get it we'll just do it the old-fashioned way uh wild a little bit i went ahead and went and got the drill to deal with here with just to make it quicker i might as well if i have it and it's hotter than uh hotter than Osama bin Laden's grave out here so um wherever he's at but uh just have these silver screws holding it on here we'll have one here you have one here you have one here 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 and here you have one here and you'll have one here and uh that should pretty much be it on all the screws you got to take off well I actually look in here guys the uh the grill is attached right here just these little clips that come in there so basically you just pull the grill against you and it should pop out okay yeah basically you just want to just pull your grill towards you here a little bit of pressure this top part to come disconnect it and it's going to be connected on the bottom still so just get your bumper ready here flip it back over and again make sure not to scratch the paint up and you have these clips right here that's actually just finished and attaching this on there and these tabs here so pretty much you just want to just you want to just pull back his tabs like i'm showing you here and just pull the uh the grill out of here and it should be good guys and again you don't want to break anything with the grill because you can't sell these back on line and probably make your money back but okay guys the uh grill is now off of here pretty much all i've done is push back these two uh 
plastic clips right here just enough now do not make do not break these or you're part of a bumper and they will hold this on the next step is you're going to be removing your emblem if you didn't already order a new one or anything like that this here is pretty easy to do it's just these two little metal tabs right here you're just going to want to take a screwdriver and want we prowl those back and you should get it off here this is asked where most people screw up and break their emblems when they put them on top of our emblems and different emblems on there. The right way to take these emblems off is take the grill off, but you can put the new one on there and double side of tape and, and worry about restoring the old one. But you'll need to make sure these are intact if you're reusing your emblem, because if you don't, then you'll have to go get some double sided tape and put it back on if you break this. But okay, I ended up getting this emblem off. Unfortunately, I did end up breaking these plastic tabs. They're just really brittle. But no big deal. I'm just gonna have to just go get some double time. I'm just gonna have to go get some double sided uh, 3M tape and put on there to stick it to the back of the badge and on there, and it'll hold on there just fine. So it's no big deal. But uh, but just make sure you may be able to get a small knife or something like that in there and be able to get these out. But there's metal clips. They are actually a little bit difficult to get out. But you might be able to get them out if you're real careful. I've seen people do it. I just was unfortunately not able to do it because this plastic emblem is pretty cheap, honestly. Off, everything's ready here. This is also a good time if you want to change your fog lights out, do anything like that. It'd be a lot easier than crawling up from under the car and taking the plastic off. Which I do need to change my fog lights out because that one's cracked and this one here's busted. But to get your grill back on here, it's going to go on the same way that it came off. But uh, I'll start putting it on here. And that's for the quality of the uh, grill I got off of Amazon. It looks really good, honestly. It pretty much looks like factory, just black. The uh, emblem insert it looks a little bit weird, but that's going to be covered up. Now this here is the factory grill. It's chrome up top here. But down on the bottom here, it's this uh, black plastic. It's like a satin plastic. This here is actually like this gloss, a gloss finish here. Now it does have a little bit of orange peel in it, which I mean, you could rust sand that out if you wanted to, but honestly, I think it's gonna look perfect on the car as it is. And okay, uh, once you get it snapped on the bottom here, it pushes straight on there, guys, no issues. It goes straight on the bottom here, but the top, you gotta be careful here. You can see right here, there's these little plastic nubs, and you have gotta wedge the grill into these nubs right here. I believe the right way to do it would be to wedge it in these plastic nubs first and then install the bottom here. So I'm gonna try that, but just remember, and you got these clips here, and then you gotta still put your screws in, but you can see what I'm talking about here. My phone will focus. So there's just these little nubs here, and what that does, that locks the grill in here and it keeps it from flopping. Center part on, I still got the side pieces here, but I'm having an issue with getting this uh, grill centered back here trying to get the uh, black part against these plastic clips because some of these did unfortunately end up breaking on me but a simple fit to ride if you run into this would just be to take a zip tie and you want to just run it through the uh little swap that's back there to get it real tight on here because if you do not do that your grill is going to look like this hair it's going to hang out on you you don't want that so i'm just going to grab a couple of zip ties and just tie that all in there real good flush right here i'm still working on it where i accidentally broke those clips but what i've been basically doing is i've been taking zip ties here and what i hopefully you shouldn't have to do this but if you do just do like i'm showing you take a zip tie and you might start with a small one and you want to push it between the black clip on the grill and the bumper and what you should end up with is it should come out like this and this here is the best way to do this because it took me a while to figure this out. And then all you want to do from there is you want to take the zip tie and you want to push it back in. I'll try to show you here. It's hard to hold the phone at the same time. And okay, yeah, I'll push the uh, zip tie back in. And as you can see, it's coming back through on here. And then what you'd want to do from there is uh, just push down on the bumper. And you want to just pull the zip tie through right here. But okay, I actually do get the zip tie worked through there. Just as normally with the zip tie. You want to just go ahead and just pull it tight. You know, put your fingers on it here. And 
pretty much you should end up like this. Put the end of a zip tie on the valley here. There's this little rubber strip here. You can go and take it off. It just makes insulation easier. And you can see where these clips go. But after you got that on there real tight and nice, it should come out pretty even here. It should be perfect. And again, you shouldn't have to do a step unless you damage your bumper a little bit like I've done. And these bumpers are really fragile from what I can tell. Okay, enough enough for that. We're pretty much ready to get the bumper on here. And you just want to remember to, first of all, remember to hook your fog lights back up before you even do any, as soon as you get it on there. And you want to go ahead and clean out your trash, stuff around your head lights. You won't be able to get to a fault now. Make sure you have everything handy. And remember just where everything goes, is just plastic clips and a couple of screws. Should be pretty easy to do. You can put these black trim pieces on here last because what I tell they don't they ain't gonna go tight to the grill it doesn't on, on the stock one but where it should go in tight at is right here these two uh clips that it holds on I believe it was these here it should go right on there guys and it'll be good on that part but I'm gonna go ahead and get this bumper on here real quick and I'll cut to that part here I I don't have a way to film it by just myself right now okay i got the bump around here it's actually pretty easy what i've done is i laid it down flat with this foam pad under it to keep on scratching it i went ahead and plugged up both fog lights and i flipped it up i was able to take one hand over here in the middle and hold it up right here and what i done is i went to both sides and i just kind of just lined up the clips where they went in i just smacked it the clips went right in there right here and i still gotta work on this here but these screws will hold that on in there this fender liner goes under the bumper here and don't forget you have clips in here that need to snap in so you will have to play around with that a little bit and you got the clips up here also when you do tighten the grill up to the bumper before you put the bumper back on you want to be sure just to want we tighten the screws because if you have a torque goes you could break it and your grill could flop or it could end up bending it or anything like that here uh, that's gonna kill me here and kind of ask for yeah but like i said earlier you can't use the screwdrivers you might end up having a little bump like this sometimes especially when it's hot outside so you might actually be better just tugging on them and you take it off but these metal clips here one of them's made on the fender and one of them's on the liner pretty much all you want to do is you want to just pull back on your bumper here a little bit and you want to just slide the inner fender liner back in behind here like this make sure the top part's in there too we'll have to mess with this a little bit but just for every piece here that i have my finger on should go between the bumper and the fender and then you can just put your screws in after you after you are 100 percent positive your bumper clips are in you can see right here mine ain't in so a simple fix for that would be just to pull up on the bumper here and they should go in your screws will also draw it in some guys i got the uh, bumper screws in here now don't worry about this gap when you put the clips up here that i've pulled up about where it needs to be just make sure your screws are in here nice and flat and push the bumper in some when you do it because it should be almost flush with the fog line but now you're left for these right here to uh put these on it's pretty straightforward guys i got the uh, bumper screws in here now don't worry about this gap when you put the clips up here that i've pulled up about where it needs to be just make sure your screws are in here nice and flat and push the bumper in some when you do it because it should be almost flush with the fog line but now you're left for these around here to uh put these on it's pretty straightforward and i just now noticed this these uh outer edges here they actually bowed up to this here so you just pretty much have just four screws on the back of us here and you'll have to pull it off of the bumper here just once you take all the screws out you'll have this clip right here to work with and you're gonna have a couple tabs like this tab and this tab just work it off and you got to go from here and you got to dis detach the uh the chrome piece on there the old grill piece from this black plastic trim on the back and you put it on your new piece and these only go on one side so just remember like here's my new piece so what i'm gonna do from here is just put this back and on of that and it'll be good on that part sorry i didn't mention that but you should be able to get to the uh 
but you won't need to take a bumper back off or anything. We'll be able to get right tail right here. So that's no big deal. Just wanted to go ahead and mention that because I forgot about it. The uh, backing is off of here. I decided to surprise it around a little bit. Just be careful. You don't want to break these uh, clips on this old one if you plan on reusing it or selling it. But then all you got to do from here is just swab this new black trim into here. And it'll be good to go to boat it up to the car up here. We're clipping on. You want to just go ahead and take these itty bitty screws here. And you want to go ahead and tighten it up and it'll be good. And mine was actually uh, had a clip broke off of it back here. But from what I can tell, it doesn't matter because this does screw onto that back and, and this back and that's what holds it on the car. So that's no big deal. Overall, it's still a pretty good quality piece. I mean, already without the emblem, it's, it just looks like a totally different car. It looks way better than the Chrome. The links to that down in the description again for everything I'm using here. Right on here, you pretty much just install it like you've done before. It just clips in there, push it up against there. And you're just going to want to go ahead and put your put your rubber gasket back on. After you get both sides on, you got your bottom boated up to the two 10 millimeters, your screws and the fenders, and your clips down there. You're going to want to go ahead and take this rubber gasket, and it goes like this here. Complete flat side to bottom. The part where the bubble and the sill goes up. And you just want to just line it up here to start popping all of your clips in. And you'll be good to go on that step. And then you can start putting the front piece on right here but okay uh after you get everything boated up bottom of 10 millimeters the screws and the fenders and clips you want to go ahead and put your rubber gasket on here like i've showed you here and the uh, flat end goes towards the bottom of the car like t t down to the car the part with the curve in at the sill that's round like this here it goes up and you want to go ahead and take your cover and you want to just sit this on here. That gives you a reference point on which clips you need to put in and put not. Because put in and not put in because this here does go around it. And the correct way to do this is this plastic piece here. The radiator shield, I would call it. Just goes up under uh, the rubber trim here. And you just got all these clips here. And then clips out here and you're good to go. Pretty much the install will be done, guys. On the outside edge of a rubber trim there these are pretty easy and so you don't want to just pull the uh this middle piece you want to just pull it out halfway that'll let you push it in there and you push it down flat and then you just do that to every single one of them notice as the emblem doesn't want to go up against there the hose won't line up so you're gonna have to take these nubs here and cut them off flush and definitely use some double-sided tape to put this on there because if you don't then your emblem's never going to go on and it'll definitely look better with the emblem versus without the emblem so you can just glue this on here but uh other than that everything looks really good on this grill here i got everything buttoned up here i got all the stuff up top and i'm pretty much uh ready to go here i'm I'm going to walk around and do a show off here, shut the hood. And man, I've got to say, this is completely transformed the look of my car. Looks way better in that chrome grill. And this is just a mod you guys can do for like 70 bucks in a couple hours of time. An hour if it goes good for you, but I have really bad luck and I can never get anything to go around for me. But that's pretty much just going to be the install video plus bumper removal on the uh, temp gen Civic cars. I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like and and consider subscribing and comment down below if you have any questions now this was my first time actually ever taking a bumper off a car i've done a lot of other mechanic work but i've never really done anything like this here so this is new to me but if you guys watch the whole video it's gonna go pretty good for you i'll show you some extra steps that you might run into what you'll need help with and stuff like that so i hope everybody enjoyed the videos and peace out